According to Recital 57 of the DSM Directive, the rights of press publishers should not extend to mere facts reported in press publications. However, this is crucially not included in the text of Article 15 of the DSM Directive. Unsurprisingly, therefore, the exception has only made it into the national implementations of three countries, Germany, Malta and Romania. Given that recitals only have interpretative value, it's not clear if this amounts to a good implementation strategy. That said, given that failing to protect mere facts against the press publisher's right would have a disproportionate negative effect on freedom of expression, the conclusion, in my opinion, ought to be that the recital indicates how Article 15 should be read so that the exclusion of mere facts in the national implementations is correct. Now, this raises the question, of course, of what happens in the other national implementations, in fact, the majority of national implementations, that did not transpose the exclusion of mere facts. Now, one possibility is that in those countries, general national principles which exclude mere facts from protection can instead be relied upon. However, A number of national experts in the study have pointed out that the press publisher's right is a related right, meaning that rules that only protect mere facts from copyright protection may be insufficient. In these cases, either we have to apply the more leasing principle in order to restrict the interpretation of national law, or these national uh, implementations have to be found to be out of compliance with EU law. Now, similarly, contrary to the directive, the Czech Republic, Croatia, Denmark, Estonia, France and Hungary provide no protection from the press publishers, right, for works or other subject matter for which protection has expired. This goes against Article 15.2 of the DSM Directive, which holds that the press publisher's right cannot be invoked to control the use of works or other subject matter for which protection has expired. As with the exception for mere facts, it is possible to argue that this exclusion also, this exclusion too, should be read into national law via indirect effect of the directive and an interpretation which is conformant with fundamental rights. Otherwise, these countries would have to be seen as being out of compliance with the directive.